What's going on guys? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, me, I'm slightly annoyed because around 1 a.m. I made myself a bowl of ice cream and then I recorded the new or the latest episode of, of the Black and Off podcast. And one of the segments was going to be about Ethan from H3H3 versus Muda from Some Ordinary Gamers. And uh, there was a lot of drama and a lot of interesting stuff that was going on. And I was like, kind of like, yeah, this is going to be really interesting to talk about. But the thing is, I had to scrap that segment because there was some changes in the middle of the night to the story. And I was like, oh, come on, you got to be kidding me. But it was also ple a pleasant surprise because it was kind of an in squashing, squashing the drama, squashing the beef in a way that I've really never seen before on the Internet. So let me start from the beginning. Ethan from H3H3 has been getting a lot of hate and criticism um, over the years when his podcast launched because, you know, little mishaps here and there. And it wasn't really, it didn't boil to any type of point until this dude um, on YouTube by the name of Gokunaru made this very lengthy documentary kind of style video that just really went through all the criticisms and then so a lot of people were like yeah you're right and then Ethan was receiving much more criticism and much more hate and because that video was, re was received very well and so obviously Ethan was still doing his thing H3 podcast was still raging on was still growing you know still getting a lot of other uh big guests and stuff so it didn't really like affect him not really but then it wasn't until there was a resurgence on the hate and, and the hate train and, uh, and maybe I would say some rightful criticism as well when uh, when the whole iDubs and Anissa thing happened when she started her OnlyFans. You all know about that stuff and everything. Every, the Internet started freaking out. And then Ethan is friends with iDubs. He knows Ian personally. So he got mad on the H3 podcast and defended him. And the thing was... I don't think anyone was surprised that Ethan came out and defended him. I think people were just kind of annoyed in the way that he was going like hard in the paint and being kind of kind of like really hostile. I would say unnecessarily, but hey man, I think he was actually genuinely angry to the point where even Ela had to try to reel him in and say, hey man, maybe you should calm down. You're concerned about other people's relationships instead of improving your own physical appearance and your own ability to attract women, okay? Your judgment of what but, uh, you are a vile slime of a human that will nobody will ever want you because you're so pathetic maybe you should calm down no i'm serious <laughs> i'm not calming down so then after that it became very lucrative to make videos criticizing ethan again and one of those youtubers that jumped on that train was some ordinary gamers muda so muda made uh his first video claiming that Ethan donation shamed Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos donated $100 million to the whole pandemic stuff. And then he claimed that Ethan was shaming him, saying that's not enough because Jeff Bezos is worth hundreds of billions of dollars or however much he is. But it turns out that wasn't the case. And Ethan came out on Twitter and showed some proof that it wasn't the case. He showed some screenshots saying like, I didn't say that. Um, this is the only time that I actually mentioned Jeff Bezos. And it was actually speculation wondering if he's actually going to contribute at all. Stuff like that, you know, but he did not outright shame him. Like he hadn't even made a donation by the time he was talking about Jeff Bezos. So whatever Muda was talking about was like, where did you get that information from? Like, did you, did you just outright lie for, for the clout? Or did you just hear something and, you know, you got mixed up and then you went hard in the paint? I think it's the latter because Muda was very angry and hostile in the video, showing that I think he genuinely believed it. It wasn't like he was just trying to take this higher ground and be like, I'm going to make up some bullshit and pretend I'm a better person. He seemed like he was genuinely angry and you know, in hindsight, it was very embarrassing because it, it was just factually incorrect. Now, honestly, I think the beef would have been squashed if, for example, Muda just came out and was like, oops, my bad, or just took down the video. If he did something like that, I think it would have just been done. But what he did was he tried to have his cake and eat it, too, where he made a follow up video because Ethan started to uh, this doing this donation thing where you can participate on Twitter and you have a chance to win like $500 and stuff. You guys can look into that. 
And so Muda kind of said, oh, well, it was because of me. Like, I, I started shaming him in the video, going hard in the paint, saying that he hardly donates anything. And so now he's donating to all these people. Oh, shit. A lot has happened the past couple days, huh? <laughs> Ooh, $100,000 donation by our friend Ethan Klein. I wonder what may have caused that, but you know what? It is what it is. I would say that it is kind of a coincidence, and I think Ethan got caught in a bad situation, probably getting ready to launch that, and then it just coincided with the video that came out with um, that Muda made. So it was kind of like, oops, and I guess he didn't want to just not do it because uh, it just it's just one of those things that's a bad coincidence. Shit like that happens. But also, I got to say, Muda said in the second video that, yeah, he made a mistake. He has to take an L on that point. But the thing that made it not good, at least not a good apology and not really showing like that he really cared that he fucked up the story was saying, I'll take this one L, but um, I'll collect like 10 W's. I'm willing to take the L because I made a mistake. You know, it is what it is. And I'll take the L on that point, but I'll take my 10 W's for sure. Essentially saying that like that, it was just very like egotistical. It was very interesting that I was like, whoa, this is weird. And, and let me tell you, I also want to say that I have no problem with Muda. I've actually seen uh, a handful of his videos, and I thought they're very good. I think he's a great ranter. I think he's. I, th I get why he has a, a good, um, a decent following. Like his following's pretty good. And seeing this video was actually kind of like weird. I was like, ah, that's that's a weird follow up to a video when you know you fucked up a point. You know, and one of the things that, and I think I feel like I need to mention, there was a time like I always feel like it's really important. If you fuck up a, a, a story, if you fuck up something that is the main premise of your video. You kind of, I feel like you, sh you should, you, f you should feel obligated to take it down, you know, like just if you have any integrity. And I say that because it's happened to me as well. I've made a video where the main premise was just wrong. You know, some information came out and it's just like, oh, I got the wrong information. My bad. And I just took the video down. You know, there wasn't like, say, let me, let me keep it up or anything because the video was positively received and it was, it was overwhelmingly positively, positively received. Everybody kind of thought the same way as I did because they thought the information was correct. It seemed like it was at the time, just like with this Ethan situation, it seemed like, oh, it makes sense. I'm sure Ethan did say that and nobody checked it. Shit like that does happen, but then it's like when there's a mistake, it's time to correct it. So because of that, since he didn't take the videos down at first, um, I think Ethan made the response video. I think that really pissed him off. And it, it's, it was very lengthy. And, and I got to say that it, it was pretty good. Like there, he defended himself very well, well enough to the point where Muda actually did take down the videos. And this is where I'm getting to where I had to scrap the video I made because at the, at the point, at the time, the videos were taken down, but there was no response from Muda. So I wasn't sure if he took them down because of Ethan's response or if he just actually came to some type of realization himself. I didn't know. I was just speculating. And then that's why, like, when I was editing in the middle of the night, I thought, well, he's probably going to make a response. Like, Muda's probably going to make a response because he took the videos down. That just makes sense. And then it turns out, yeah, I checked. And then 35 minutes, it had been up for 35 minutes. I was like, shit. <laughs> and I got to tell you, this is the best apology and response video I've ever seen. It was just him owning up 100% like I fucked up. He also caught himself realizing that he was being kind of an egomaniac with those those videos that he put up, especially the follow up where it was out of character. And Ethan kind of showed in his response video that I was out of character with stuff that he would say before. And this happened. So I don't know exactly what it was. If he was just, you know, in, 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 in having some bad vibes, I don't know if um, he just got caught up in the, the sensationalism of, of hating on Ethan, but he just owned up and it was actually very respectable. One of the things I was really impressed by Muda's apology video was that he even brought up something that I kind of speculated about in the original footage. I was saying, oh, you know, because Ethan made this response video, people are going to try to comb through the internet and find some stuff like, oh, see, you still are a hypocrite, Ethan. You know, I'm still going to find some Jeff Bezos stuff or whatever. I speculated about that. There's probably footage that exists of Ethan just trashing billionaires or trashing Jeff Bezos or stuff because there's there's hours and hours of content I bet if you had the time or if you, if you even cared enough to find something like that you can probably find that gotcha moment and Muda even brought something up like that he brought up that people were showing him this clip and he still was like dude no just like just stop 
I'm wrong. Just like that's just it. I owe him an apology. And guys, it, there's no point to keep trying to dogpile. And I'm just like, that is some real shit right there. That is somebody who actually does have integrity. They was, sent me this like. Uh, uh, made that they sent me this clip. Listen minutes. to it. Yeah, yeah, don't. Yeah, no, you're gonna he, donate that. He, he makes oh, that in six please. minutes. Love it. Love it. That's that's incredible. Well, the so, thing is, I have lots of rocket ships I need to shoot off. So is that kind of a bitch move when you're a tr like a? I was wondering what's with the weird number. So it's a million. So yeah, that's pretty much where it ends. Uh, I definitely recommend you watch more because uh, I'm gonna add like another couple extra seconds of context. But uh, Ethan actually wasn't really donation shaming Jeff Bezos over there. Kind of like I think more asking a question. But you know, being the internet and what it is, a lot of people quickly make a speculation, which coincidentally something that i fucking did and i was wrong so you know it's time to call out what it is uh, what what what's worth being called out so yes i'm a little bit annoyed that i scrapped the video that i was making it was going to be a part of my podcast and i was just like fuck it i'm getting rid of it i'll just put this out you know just and then i'll put the podcast out tomorrow and have a different subject because there's a lot of things going on that i can talk about but the silver lining and i actually think that's much better is just showing this example of how drama should work because, you know, there's a lot of people that are going to be mad that this shit isn't dragging out because you can get more and more views the more back and forth things are going. But this is like a genuine conclusion, you know, like at first, like Muda could have just fired back and he probably still would have had the high ground, really, because so many people are just not not liking Ethan right now. There's a lot of people that are disappointed in him. There's a lot of people that think he fell from grace. There's a lot of people that are like he really lost the plot and stuff. And I always say you got to think of it from a different perspective like is Ethan what what is he it, I he's obviously doing very well for himself he obviously has successful companies and everything he's doing I don't think in his perception he fell from grace you know what I'm saying I understand what a lot of people are saying because they're like I miss the the H3 the the vape nation when he was on top of his game on the H3 channel and now it's all about the H3 podcast I get that you can miss that I I miss when people do let me just tell you something like in, in the secular community, in the in the in the non-religious community, um, I used to listen to a lot of podcasts and around the time when the whole SJW craze happened around 2014, a lot of those people, you know, were they're progressives and they kind of jumped on the train too. they went from being some of the most egregious like they would tell some of the most egregious jokes, really just uh, pa uh, pandering to my sense of humor. They're, that's just how they, they were. And then they're just like, oh, we can't say stuff like that. We can't joke about, you know, anything that's even remotely offensive. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? What happened? And I remember remnants of, of how, what they used to be. So I understand how people can feel that way. I also understand some people do legitimately grow and change. You know, I, I just, I don't have any hate for the guy. Like, dudes made mistakes. But I, I like I said, I say this a lot. The, the type of shit that people are always trying to like go for the throat for is some of the most dumbest bullshit ever to me because in real life and and, and once again i'll say this again people have a hard time uh differentiating between <laughs> real life and the internet because a lot of this stuff oh ethan said this oh he did this oh how could he he's the worst person in the world i can never trust him unsub and i'm like do you guys like go outside i know you can't go outside right now not really but i'm saying just normally you know there's like criminals there's people that that are in and out of jail and then they get um assimilated back into society you know they paid their debt to society and then they get to come back they've done some really horrific shit and then usually you can earn their trust or whatnot you know i know somebody who went to jail for attempted murder and then he came out of jail changed his life around and became a really upstanding citizen you know what i'm saying like there's people like that our system gives people a chance to rehabilitate themselves and, and to and to like you know have a second chance of life but the internet no they want to condemn you because oh you said something negative about this oh you fucked this story a story up um royally oh you had a bad interview with bill burr shit like that and i'm like all right guys it's it's not that serious but that's it, just wanted to share that little piece with you because it was really interesting. You know, before when I was recording it, it was kind of interesting and I was actually interested to see what was gonna happen next and then it just happened while I was editing, so I'm like, shit. So here we are and I gotta tell you, it was the best case scenario, it really was because it literally could have been the complete opposite. Muda had the high ground and could have just ignored everything. He could have, and then more hate could have just swelled on Ethan's side because, like I said, there were people still trying to, like, scour the internet and looking through his content. See? See? He still said this. He still said this. You're still right, Muda. And he was just like, nah, man. Like, 
I was wrong. Like, stop it, guys. Um, I'm going to be a fucking adult, you know, because nobody else is going to be adult. So I'm going to be an adult, but this is this is my responsibility. And I apologize. I fucked up. And I was just like, wow. That's... I, <laughs> Show me another time when fucking just drama and beef got squashed that quickly. That was so fast. But um, that's it, guys. Y'all have a good one. Hope you enjoy this. Got a podcast coming out tomorrow. And uh, just take care.